Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Lenovo ThinkPad T15. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your battery. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip your computer over to access the bottom case screws. Now after taking out the eight screws in the bottom case, make sure to remove your SIM card in the rear as well. If you don't, you risk breaking it when you start prying off your bottom case. After that, you're going to take a small, flat, plastic pry tool, and you're going to go around the seam of your computer, prying the bottom case off from the palm rest. It's generally best to start out back near one of the two hinge assemblies, work your way in one direction, and if you get stuck, leave it, go to the other side, and continue in the other direction. Don't put your pry tool too far in. You could damage internal components. Just keep it on the edge. Go nice and slow, careful but firm, and you'll be able to get that bottom case off. After you do, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your computer projects, as well as all of the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model computer, the T15, I will have a link above, also below in the description. It'll be a list of all the tools and supplies that I use in my shop, along with all the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model computer, the T15. The battery is right here near the bottom of my screen. This battery is a 57 watt hour battery, 11.52 volts, and the main Lenovo part number is L18M3P71. I will have all that information below in the description if needed, but I will also include a battery replacement option in that link I told you about with all the replacement and upgrade parts for this model computer. The battery is held in by three screws and it plugs into the motherboard right here near the green arrow. Now as a general rule with cables and wires in a laptop, try to avoid pulling on them if at all possible when unplugging it. Try just to manipulate the plug itself. However, with this battery, as you can tell, the cables are so short that it was actually kind of difficult to pull it out without putting some pressure on the wires. But do your best, try to wiggle it out, and there's a little black pull tab here that you can grab and pull to the left, and that can help you get it out too, so you don't have to put all the pressure on those wires. And I guess the last thing to mention about this kind of an operation, if you're here because your computer is not turning on, your battery could be bad and it may need to be replaced, but keep in mind that most laptops will still turn on and function with a bad battery, as long as the charger's plugged in. So if your computer is not turning on, there may be something else wrong with it other than just a bad battery. There will be a video link above, also below in the description, it will be a tutorial in how to troubleshoot a laptop to find out why it's not turning on and how you can fix it. But that's the end of this video, how to get inside your T15 and access your battery. Thanks again so much for watching. Uh, please remember to like and share if this helped you out if you think it can help someone else out. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this, or if you just want to keep me on hand to answer any of your future computer questions, I do try to answer all questions throughout my channel at least a couple times a day. Also, feel free to check out the related link section below in the description. From time to time, I do try to add things in there that I think will help you uh, with your general computer life, make it more productive, more enjoyable. So thanks again for watching everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.